Because of the diversity of machine tool types and applications, this program will concentrate primarily on the basic computer numerical control principles of a vertical milling machining center. The vertical milling machining center typically has three linear axes of motion, with each assigned an alphabetic designate or address. The table's motion side to side is called the x-axis. The table's motion in and out is called the y-axis. And the head movement up and down the column is called the z-axis. If a rotary table is added on the machine table, then there is a fourth rotary axis, which is called the A-axis. The method of accurate positioning along each axis for all machine types is achieved using the rectangular coordinate system. On the vertical milling machining center, the horizontal baseline of the rectangular coordinate system represents the x-axis, and the vertical baseline represents the y-axis. The z-axis is at a right angle perpendicular to both the x and y axes. Increments for all baselines are specified in linear measurement. For most machines using the English system, the smallest increment is one ten thousandth of an inch. For machines using metric, the smallest increment is usually one thousandth of a millimeter. The rectangular coordinate system allows the mathematical plotting of points in space, called coordinates, among two or more machine axes. Each coordinate is an actual physical location that the machine is instructed to move through. These coordinates indicate the position of the cutting tool center and are collectively called the tool path. 